Hi, it's Tom. Today we're going to solve another very popular problem which is being used during the coding interview. It's called the longest substring without repeating characters. So it's pretty easy to understand what's the, the problem. But uh, let's read the, the description. Given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. And there are a couple examples uh, here in lead code. As, as always, we are using lead code. So having an, an input uh, in the form of a string ABC, ABC, BB, the output is free, of course, because the longest substring is ABC or CAB. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we are being asked uh, to provide the, the length, not the exact string. So maybe let's switch to the whiteboard so I can show you two solutions for this problem. One will be the brute force, as usually, and the second one will be uh, more optimized using so-called sliding window methods. Okay, so we are already on the whiteboard. I put the string as a reference, and the first way to solve this problem is to use the brute force method. So for each character from, from the string, uh, we'll be creating a set and checking all the following characters as long as there is no same character uh, in the following set. So maybe start with an example. So start with the first character and the first set will be A, then we are checking the the next character is B, it's not in the set, and then we are checking C, it's not in the set, and then is A, which is already in the set, so it's the end of checking in this case, and the, the longest substring in this case is 3. So now we have to uh, check all the characters for for the second uh, character so starting with B there's a B then there's C then there's A and then there's B so it's already in the set the set is complete it's free so and we have to do that for all following characters C, A, B, C, B, B. Uh, it's, this pattern is pretty easy to understand. Um, this method works. It's the easiest and the first one which will probably come to your mind. And for a coding interview, you can definitely use it. Then if, if this will work, then you can try to optimize it. And, but yeah. It's working. And there is a second so solution, which is so-called a sliding window method. And the sliding window method is definitely more efficient, much more efficient. And it's, it's pretty simple to understand. So we can start treating the string as an array of characters. It's just easy to imagine the string as an array of characters to understand the the um, sliding window method and in this case we are starting with the with the array which contains just one element so maybe let's write it in this in the steps because it's it's not a long string honestly and we create an an a set which contains only uh, one element and it's A. Mm. It's okay. And then we can expand the window, uh, make it longer as long as, as the as a, a set con contains uh, only characters which are different. So in the second step, 
the set is A and B. The sliding window is bigger. In the third step, the sliding window is A, B and C. It has three elements. In the fourth step, uh, window has A, B, C and A. And as you see, it's no longer a substring without repeating characters. So after this step, we have to uh, change the, the, the window. So we move the left part of, of this, uh, we remove the most left element. So the, we, we move the, we don't move this, the, the, the window to, to the right. We just make it a little bit smaller, uh, splitting the, the first element. So now the, the window contains B, C, A, and yeah, it's still a set of, of, uh, it's a substring without repeating characters. In the next step, we have B, C, A, and B. And it works in the same way as above. So we have to remove the, the first element. So we have C, A, B. In the next step, we have C, and it just, you see the, the, the pattern. C, A, B, C. We have to change it so it's A, B, C. And, okay, maybe let's sweep, split it. In the seventh step, we have A, B, C, and there's a B. So, as you see, we have to re remove two elements to make the sliding window uh, an array of, of, of non-repeating characters. So it's only C, B, and in the last step we have C, B, B, and as a result the last uh, set contains only one letter, one character. And yeah, as a result, as you see, there are four cases in which uh, there is a there's longest uh, substring without repeating characters and its length is free. So these are two methods to solve this problem. And let's switch back to the Xcode, VS Code, sorry. Uh, to see the so solution written in uh, JavaScript. Okay, we are back in the VS Code. So maybe let's start with implementing the, the first way, the brute force method. So maybe let's start with counter. And now we have to create a loop. Uh, for all characters in the string, okay, um, yeah, and maybe let's get the character mm, char at, okay, and create a set to start. Okay, and then starting from this point, we have to create another loop uh, to check all the following characters um, as long as as the set uh, contains um, non-repeating characters. So yeah, maybe let's use the for loop. It's it's so inefficient that it doesn't really matter if it's while or for. G equal one so 
So if set has uh, this character, then we break the loop. Uh, in other case, we just add it. Okay. And the count uh, should be updated only if it's bigger. So count and set size. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it should work. Um, let's try. Yeah, it's working. So this is the the brute force solution. It's very inefficient, but uh, if you will be able to write it quickly during your interview, then it should work. At least you will be given more time to optimize it. So, okay, maybe uh, now let's implement the sliding window method, which is much more efficient. Uh, we won't need that. Okay. This is what we need. So now we have to get the index of, of start of the window and index of the end of the window. Yep. And the length. set it might be empty so now I can use while loop uh, the rule is I has to be smaller than length of the string and J has to be smaller than length of the string we can get the character j yeah because we need the the new character on the, which is the most right character um, hope it's it, you understand what i'm talking about okay uh, so if set doesn't has this element, this character, uh, we have to add it and we can move J to the right. So we can move the right side of the window. We can just expand it to, to the right and we can update the count. Uh, and the current count is the difference between J and I because that's the difference between the position of the end of the uh, window and the beginning of the window uh, it's zero zero in the f in the first case but uh, after the first step, as you see, the J is incremented. So this, this uh, sliding window has one element and the difference J minus I will be one. So it should work. Okay. Uh, and in other case, we just have to delete the first element. Uh, okay, and increment i, which will move the left part of the of the sliding window. It will just make it shorter. Um, okay, let me see. It should work, I believe. 
Mm. Yeah. Let's clear the output. Yeah. It's totally fine and it's it's working. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I presented two ways to solve the longest substring without repeating characters problem. The first uh, one was the brute force and the second one is the sliding window which is much more efficient method and if you enjoy this kind of videos please let me know in the comments thank you for watching bye